Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I review the idiosyncrasy disc golf shoes after six months of heavy use. Let's talk about it. Wait, that's what David says from Apollo. <laughs> now, I bought these shoes in October 2022, and I played roughly 80 rounds with them according to U-Disc. However, I've done a lot more throwing training on concrete tee pads, doing probably 1,000 to 2,000 walk-ups in that time. I'm only 170 pounds, but I don't have the best of form. And because of this, I often drag my toes on my rear leg in particular. So there's a fair bit of wear on my left shoe uh, where the toes drag. That said, both shoes held up well despite that, at least in the beginning. Now, I wear 11 wide shoes. However, I did some research and I found out that I had to order about a half size up and that advice worked out perfectly. I ordered 11.5 shoes and these fit like a glove. Even though I have wide feet, I don't feel like these are too narrow. They're very comfortable, and I'd say that's the most outstanding feature of these shoes, even with the default sole, which is what I've used exclusively. I also think the look of these shoes is very good. The colors they offer, and the design of the logo, and the swirls on the side, even the tread pattern at the bottom, all look very modern and aggressive. They don't look like walking shoes. They look like a cross between trail hiking shoes and running shoes. They look lightweight, they are lightweight, and they look very nimble and athletic. With that said, there's one big downside, and that's durability. This is the one issue I've experienced, as well as my friend Mike, and others I've talked with on person, as well as read online and watched videos online. You can actually use lightweight materials that are durable, and in this case, the shoe is very light, but the materials aren't the highest quality. They're not bad though, and I don't think the materials are quite as important as construction. The tread on the bottom of both shoes wore out over time. Now, I did my part by using them a lot, but I didn't have this level of wear in six months with the Adidas Terex Swift R2 shoes that I had previously. I used those for over two years before they finally wore out, and that's when I got these. The bond between the heel cap and the rest of the shoe started separating after a month. By the time I wore these for two months, they stopped being waterproof. They still resisted moisture, but it was obvious that if I stood in water, it would seep through the shoes. With all that said, a new model releases in July that's improved in terms of bonding the parts together. I don't know if higher quality materials are used, but I think the most important part of the shoe is that it's assembled better and that the parts don't separate. And because of that, I think it'll hold its waterproofing longer. I'll be looking forward to what Idio Sports announces in terms of improvements for the upgraded version of their Syncrasy shoes. I can't recommend these 1.0 version of the shoes with the newer version on the horizon. As good as these are, and I've enjoyed wearing these, your best bet is to wait for the new ones to drop in July and then order those. That's going to do it for my review. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already as I have more disc golf videos on the way. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.